Hi, today I want to show you handle with the real Pond Cloud data from LiDAR and how we load in the file, BCD file and read in the file, handle the data in the file. So right here you have the data right here, data one, right here are the BCD file. And we will read the file right here in the data one, right? For example, right here we read the one file. But that, later I will show you how to read the stream, the data file. I mean, we run look like the video. So here in the main uh, last video, you already see a simple highway viewer. So right now I create a new one, a city block viewer. In the city block viewer, we pass reference a viewer into this function and we create call the process point cloud. Right now, the type variable is point SYCI because in the real data, they have the intensify value. So we need we use to the be SYCI, okay? And we put the name point processor, points processor, and then we continue loading the file in the, you remember in the, in this class, okay, point processor, point processor, we have the file weather function loading. Let me show you, we have the function loading. This function bound in bars. Yeah. Okay. Right here in the BCD file, we have the template function called save in BCD and load set right here. Templates load BCD file. Okay. This function help us to load in the BCD file right here. So we go back, we call this function. Okay. We fit the input cloud right here and argument right here. Uh, and lost the the pad right here. Okay. Right now we see how it look like. For example, I just want to see how the BCD BCD file. So I call in a point cloud point cloud viewer input cloud. Okay. Right here is the real data points. Okay, you can see. The data points right here. The traffic car. Okay. Okay. They have the one hundred nineteen thousand nine hundred seventy eight data points is a lot. So how we make the DAO sample? It means we reduce the data point right here. We don't need something when we process the data. We don't need the to make the data right here. It's made the slow processing. So we had to DAO the sample. So. Uh, we had to write the function filter clouds. Okay, we write the function filter clouds.
we crop the data point and we let's reduce the data point we don't need to hold the data point okay sometimes the call we just need the height and width so we know that's the object this function work you go back to this one I show you we write a template function filter color right here okay and we write the filter color function right here the argument right here put the fit the input color right here and we ask the uh, the filter resolution right here is mean the qubit um, and we have that to the means point and mass point here and after that we apply the process grid right here to uh, dial the sample and right here we had to remove the the root when the uh, later they point to the uh, the 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 group of the cars so we don't need that so we don't need that um, data point so we read uh, we remove them right here we don't need the uh, the data point from the rope of the car because when the lighter they generate the laser beam they hit to the rope of the car so we reject that point mm. and right here that's the we crops the data point right here you can see that last time you see the whole data point but right here we crop this data points uh, and they return for you the future cloud and in the uh, environment you just only call them and they show them okay so generally we know right now we learn how to generate the loading the bcd file from the lidar so and to see how it look like after that we just sample something like this because we don't need the whole data point it's too much for process okay and you make the our processor slow okay and we apply the process grid filtering it means reduce number of points in the cloud to process faster right the cubic grid does filters cloud leaving single points per cell so filter inside the pods removing any points outside the pods area so what's versus grid filterings we create a cubic grid and we'll filter the cloud by only li leaving a single point per process cube and so the larger the cube length the lower resolution of the point cloud so we will add to the something like this okay and last next video i show you how to bounding bars and clustering and powering bars uh, the object traffic car right here okay on the real data on data okay on cloud data so you apply what you learned from previous video uh, rank set uh, segment segmentation and clustering to to uh, to do the bounding bars the object right here okay, okay.